The Mela Mitte exhibition, which has just opened at the Galerie Bellier in Paris, pays tribute to a grand old lady of painting, a person who has painted more than 2,000 canvases. Around 1930, she shared the glory of Rodin, Bourdel, Matisse, Derain, Vuillard, and Valadon. All the critics have acclaimed her work, and her paintings are to be found in the Luxembourg, the Petit Palais in Paris, as well as French and foreign museums. Of Polish origin, but now naturalized, Mila Muter says, it is Paris which has given me all the elements which have formed me. She gives a tortured aspect to her landscapes. Her waves and clouds are formed of whirlwinds. Soft oranges are often blended into her favorite colors, brown, blue, sharp rust, dark red and dark green. The theme of maternity has enabled her to sublimate her own tragedy, the loss of her only boy at the age of 21. She now spends all her money on underprivileged children. Many famous people have sat for her. Clemenceau, Michel Macaulay, Albert Roussel, the sculptor Pompon, Coteline, and here is a portrait of Vollard, the famous art dealer. The portrait has remained her favorite genre. When I paint a portrait, she says, I possess the subject. It's like a penetration, like childbirth sometimes. Her great friend, Rainer Maria Rilke, wrote to her, you will certainly paint my portrait one day in spite of my unwillingness to sit and allow someone to tear off the ultimate skin, which is our visible surface. But how can one refuse in the face of your artistic fire? Mila Mute now lives in a flat cum studio. At the age of 84 and crippled by rheumatism of the spine, she hardly moves from her armchair. She lives a very quiet life, but continues to paint. Her works will soon be shown in London, San Francisco, Cologne and Copenhagen. 